What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Bible Wisdom. Um, check out this DVD. Um, it's the New King James Version uh, Bible on DVD. It's pretty good. It has uh, text on it. Um, there's also, I picked up this NIV one from a local bookstore. Um, and they're pretty good. Um, if you ever want to uh, you know, read the Bible with also an audio Bible. Um, I recommend, you know, getting a DVD, but you can also use the Bible app. Uh, you can just download that on your phone and they have, um, the text and the audio on there as well. So you can take advantage of that. Um, anyway, uh, for this, you know, today's video, um, I wanted to talk about what if the tribulation, if we as Christians uh, don't get raptured until after the tribulation, which some tend to believe because the second coming and the rapture don't happen until um, I think it's like around Revelation 20. And so a whole bunch of stuff happens until the second coming. And so I was thinking that, you know, it would probably be important to somehow have food saved up. You know, they have different places that you can uh, uh, save up food and you would have to have it for a long time, for seven years, right? Because the tribulation is supposed to take a place for seven years. But I think another way um, would be to possibly do a farm or a homestead where you're generating your own food and you're generating your own um, basically substance you know you have food you have you can make clothing if you wanted to but that would probably be pretty hard to make clothing from like if you had sheep or something <laughs> but I mean you could but anyway um, food, if you could, you know, have some chickens, you can get eggs, uh, you can grow your vegetables, um, and I thought that would be a good way to, if somehow you, the tribulation, if we didn't get raptured before the tribulation, which some people think that Christians will go through the tribulation, even though God, it says in the Bible, God has not appointed us to wrath, but, um, you know, there are some different interpretations about what happens in the tribulation. Um, and I personally have always leaned towards uh, a pre-tribulational rapture. But, um, you know, I think it's kind of like that, you know, you should try to uh, prepare, you know, if it goes a different way <laughs> but anyway jesus says that what we should do regardless is to pray that you are accounted worthy to escape all that will happen and to be counted worthy uh or and to be counted worthy to uh stand before the son of man so he wants us to pray that we escape all that will happen and then also to be counted worthy to stand before the son of man and like I said in my video yesterday, is that one of the things that we should be doing is, uh, you know, cleaning, living a clean life, also being filled with the Holy Spirit, um, living according to the Spirit, you know, live according to spiritual things, according to the Word of God. And I think if we pray that prayer, and we pray that a lot, and repetitively over a number of days, you know, Jesus is going to answer that prayer. And it maybe it doesn't have to be like, you know, a long time, but, um, you know, we have to trust God that, uh, you know, he was going to direct our steps when we acknowledge him in our, all of our ways. So anyway, that's the video for today. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and you know, research the topic of uh, end times, tribulation, um, 
and what do you think are some good solutions for that and so um all right thanks for watching and i will talk to you on the next video see ya